刚开始创业的时候，可能很多东西你都不会，就是说一下子都清晰明朗。那么你在啊、呃，持续不断的对你客户的学习过程中，你要不断的去修正你对他们的那个定位那样子。我一切在是的，对，如果你要做什么，那就一个 motto fix， 那个 motto 的后面要很 hard work， 那个 motto 的后面要很 hard work， 那个 motto 的后面要很 hard work。When you think about export, you see many difficulties like custom transportation, the cost. And 既然我哋要去到所谓走出香港啦吓嘅时候咧，我哋要做嘅嘢咧就系要向当地嘅地方咧去了解有冇文化嘅差异。诶，所谓叫做出门要问禁，睇下对当地会唔会有啲乜嘢嘅禁忌啦。诶，令到你哋嗰个投资落去嗰个环境会唔会有咩影响咧？咁样系咯。其次就係咧，我哋要，譬如我做出口嘅時間咧，我哋要熟悉少少啦，唔好一定要熟悉，即係知道少少，會唔會入口嘅時候，當地嘅法例有啲乜嘢嘅標準嘅咧？譬如會唔會我哋誒要做食物嘅時候，記記一記誒生嘅肉會唔會有咩問題咧？所以我哋要知道呢啲情況。Each audience is different. Okay, that's 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 something very key. A perception of very small things, very subtle things, will have a big difference between how it's in India versus how it's in US versus how it's in Europe. That's one area where we need to concentrate really on. 在海外布局和发展的过程中，一定要注重跟当地，呃，人员的一个互动，特别是当地许社区的许可和。一定要建立当地的团队，因为当地的团队能够便于去了解当地的法律法规、当地的人人文习惯，以及帮助你开发当地的市场，这是非常重要的一件事情。Então quando a gente parte do mercado regional para o nacional ou então do nacional para o internacional, a gente aumenta o número de possíveis clientes. Então para a gente é muito importante atacar novos mercados e ampliar o número de de possíveis clientes. A gente entrando em um novo mercado como é, países em desenvolvimento ou já desenvolvidos, a gente cria um mercado novo com clientes totalmente novos, possíveis novas ideias. Então ter parceiros que entregam nossos produtos com qualidade nesses nesses lugares para a gente também é muito importante. So if you stop innovating, you stop having an advantage on your competitors. So innovating is the key of success, and especially when you go abroad, because you have to keep one step further your competitors to to make well. So for SME to compete with the larger companies, they have to find their own niche. So whether it's、uh, a technological advancement or like just being better than the other person. Then you need to invest in this technology so you can be more efficient or、uh, just have a new product.